We are into our 75th year of uh, independence. We are, uh, your, we are celebrating uh, uh, what the Prime Minister has called Amrit Mahotsav, Azadi Ka Amrit Mahotsav. When you see public property being burnt in the name of, say, Agnipat protest or some other protest or some other reason, does that worry you? See, this whole culture is a pre-independence hangover. We were burning things at that time because we thought it belongs to the British. Even then it belongs to us, it's with our money it was happening. Uh, well, we did that anyway, but <laughs> in the post-independent era, after seventy-five years, if we still think we can burn our own country and make it look like a war zone when we don't have a war, some of the images on the television, uh, when I'm seeing, I don't know whether I'm looking at Ukraine or India. It was looking like that, it's so mm. large scale, I'm yes. saying. So, this is senseless, everybody, no matter what issue you have. We have issues, all right? Yeah. You say, you think it's this way, I think it's another way. We'll have issues, it's okay. But we can debate, we can argue, we can... Hmm. This way television yes. uh, platforms are there where you can fight, <laughs> it's no more a debate, we can fight <laughs> on the purpose, television. Right? Yes, physical, you can do all that, property. you can do all that. Hmm. But you can't just go about burn my property. I'm saying my property because national property I always believed is my property. Hmm. I still experience everything that belongs to this nation as mine because this is my nation, hmm. all right? I don't know where you come from. Do you even belong to this country, I wonder, because the scale at which you're destroying public property, national property, what is your idea? And you say you want to join the army also? I don't know. Whether you agree or disagree, I don't know the policy well for me to comment on this. Mm. I don't know what is Agnipath policy in detail, so I don't wish to comment on that. Mm. But whatever your issue, with any issue, you cannot burn public property, it belongs to people, mm. it belongs to us. Maybe you're burning it because you've not paid a rupee of tax in your life. For me, it hurts. Yeah, it does. Oh. And private property also. P I, whenever I see those two-wheelers being burned, I know in this village if somebody wants to buy a two-wheeler, which costs seventy, eighty thousand rupees, yeah. it's his life's work. Correct. He's taken a loan on top of it. You just pick up somebody's two-wheeler and just burn it, where do you come from? Yeah. It's just... it's just unacceptable. Is it also because this concept of nationhood is lacking uh, in this generation or amongst all of us? We all think about ourselves, but we don't think of ourselves as a nation. See, person. even if you think of yourself, why are you... why are you... you're not somebody who's got a Rolls Royce for yourself, mm -hmm. you also go in that bus and train, you burn the train and what are you going to do? Walk on the track, is it? <laughs> what is it? <laughs> this is just senseless reaction and I don't think this is people, these are vested interests who are organized in a certain way for whatever reasons. Hmm. Uh, but this... this must be done in the country. See, in United States, for example, hmm. if you're driving on the street, by accident you lost control yeah. and you hit the side barrier and the barrier broke, Maybe your child died, maybe your wife died, maybe your husband died, but you have to pay for the lost barrier, for the damaged barrier, do you understand? Yeah, got it. Even if life is gone, you'll have to pay for the barrier, gone by the public barrier that you ba damaged accidentally. Got it. This is why their infrastructure is so fantastic out there. Hmm. Here, uh, what is the point uh, making new trains, new buses when your intent is to burn? Walk anyway, go in a bullock cart. Of course, you'll burn the bulls and bullock cart also. There's another question which I'd like to ask you because you have traveled many countries in a very short period of time and you've met people from different countries and you have also traversed continents. Do you get a sense that there is a narrative which India is trying to break that is against India which and it is a responsibility of all of us as Indians to ensure that the right India is projected to the world? Are we somewhere uh, unable to do this? And when we do something like this back home, when we burn our own property, when we, we See, decide... See, those to, visuals... Does that hurt us? Those... Yes, deeply hurt us. Because those visuals will get embedded in everybody's mind. Those trains burning. It's not a simple visual, okay? People get terrified. India is not a place to go. Mm. I will tell you. 
See, though the statistics say something totally different, mm. the number of rapes in United States per, uh, what do you say, uh, in terms of population is way higher than in India, all right? But uh, somebody that I know very well, this is a mm. family that I know very well in Greece and I stay with them when I'm there. So this lady wants to come and visit the yoga center. All planned, tickets booked, everything. Then uh, one day she calls me and she says, uh, Sadhguru, and she's crying on the phone, I can't come. I said, why? Uh, she says, my husband is not letting me go. I know him also well. Uh, I said, why is he not letting you go? He says, he, he thinks if I go to India, I'll be raped. <laughs> I said, who, who is telling you this? There's no such thing. No, no, it's all in the news. Mm -hmm. So we must know what we're talking about. In the name of activism, you just project the country in such a bad way. See, India is the least police state in the world. Yeah. If you call police, they'll come after two days. <laughs> in spite of that, there's no crime here yeah, because people are of a certain kind. Yeah. But in 1.3 billion people, will people rob, rape, murder? Yes, they do. Unfortunately, they do. Mm. But we are not on the same scale. If you have no police in New York City, you must see what will happen in three days. Correct. We saw during the pandemic. Yes, you saw. So, this projection is, I think, very manipulated or ignorant. Mm. Both ways it's happening. So, people have a weird image of India, it's like this, it's like that, because these kind of images. So, they have no sense of what will happen internationally, but what I see is these same people, mm. when they get employed in other countries, suddenly they're very disciplined, they follow yeah. all the rules. I saw that too. They, <laughs> they think India is a free country, they can burn what they want. Oh, yeah. Free country means we create what we want. We don't burn whatever we feel like. Mm. And uh, at least, uh, see, we sing, Sare jaha hai achha. Sare jaha se achha. Please, uh, all these people must be, we must make, at least tourism videos are already ready of each nation. Show all this and let's make our country better than that, rather than just singing a song. Mm.